Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to do a little bit of a different video because there is something so satisfying for me about watching those videos. Like they're super minimalist. Everything they own fits in this tiny backpack and they travel the world with just out of this backpack. And something about that is very satisfying to me. But for the vast majority of us, there's no way in hell we could fit all of our stuff into one backpack. And that's okay. That doesn't mean we're not quote unquote uh, minimalist. Well, you can live a minimalistic lifestyle and still own things. It's much more of a mindset than about a number of belongings. So I thought it would be fun to sit down and show you guys everything that I own, but I'm going to do it in a series because if I tried to do it all in one video, it would be overwhelming. So I thought what better place to start than my wardrobe, my closet, the things I wear. Um, one thing that I don't have out is my wedding dress, but I still have that. So I don't know if you can see it from here. I absolutely adore this dress. So it's all this lace. It has this like um, skin tone, light skin tone uh, slip in the center. And then it has this really large cutout, but that lives in the closet. I don't know, I like it and I'm not getting rid of it. Let's start with my outerwear because why not? Let me grab it real quick. I don't really think this through of how this is gonna go. Like I don't have enough room for this. Okay, so outerwear. I have a raincoat, blue. My friend gave it to me. It's Under Armour brand, it's really nice. So then this is my normal everyday coat for the winter. It's super warm, it's North Face. I got it on sale. This is my original coat that I've had for a few years. My mom gave it to me. I don't know where she got it. It's Old Navy brand. I don't know, I might keep it away this year, but it's like my one warm, nicer coat. For like cooler fall, spring weather, I have two nice coats. I have this yellow one that you guys may have seen. My mom got it for me at a vintage shop and Michael says it's my couch coat, but I absolutely love it. This pink, I got it a long time ago, Mosmo. It's like a trench coat. It's very, very light though. So zoomed you out a little bit. Next, I wanna talk about athletic stuff because I don't ever put that in my capsule wardrobe. Sometimes I'll just use like my normal tank tops. You'll see my normal clothing, but this one is, I got it at a Glowflow yoga event that Michael did with our friend Ben. Then I have two t-shirts. I have this silverback t-shirt. It's super, super soft and comfortable and I'll just wear this day to day sometimes. And then I have, this is one of Michael's old t-shirts. I've got two longer sleeve shirts. So I have, this is a, turkey trot shirt from this is an event michael does so this is a good light like athletic one this is more of like a tight fitting under layer for when it's super cold out um don't use that often because i don't work out in the winter but i need to start doing that and i probably will this year now that i'm running and then i have three sort of jackets nike i think i don't i think i got this from someone or it was a lost and found i don't know how i got it but i did not pay for it and then i have these two shape activewear jackets they're the same exact one they're in different colors i got these because michael was um working with them on an event so i have a biking jersey right here i think the only bike jersey i own and then I have two pairs of biking pants. So I have a pair of shorts and a pair of like capri biking pants. Swimsuits real quick because well, let's just take a segue. I have this one piece. It has like an open back. I don't think I have like a big butt, but this one's a bit cheeky on me. So I have to wear it in particular circumstances. <laughs> the other one piece that I got that I love, absolutely love, standard, awesome one. It has a crisscross in the back and a low back. So I have one bikini top. It is this black one that you guys have seen. I absolutely love this. And these are the bottoms that go with that, just plain black ones. And then I have one more pair of bottoms, which are these like floral ones. More athletic gear. I have three pairs of like yoga leggings sort of things. So I have a purple capri pair, a gray capri pair, full length black, just standard leggings and I love them. And then while I'm at it, my two pajama bottoms, but these are much more like loungewear. So patterned gray. So I have one, two, I have five sports bras. I can probably get rid of, I'll probably get rid of this blue one pretty soon. So this is my favorite one. This is my second favorite one. And then I have the bra I'm wearing now. And then this green bra that I never really wear that I should probably give away now that I have this one. Then I have three pairs of like spandex shorts in here. Um, these are my favorite. These are a bit cheeky and these are a bit loose. And then the final place that is kind of, we'll put it in the realm of athletic stuff. So if you guys don't know, Michael produces events or he announces events. And so I will get Rip War shirts 
because that is his company. And honestly, I don't want to get rid of his shirts because I'm very proud of him for what he does. So I keep them. So that's kind of where all this is. And then like reoccurring events, like this is a um, turkey trot, turkey trot, kids triathlon. Like I'll wear those to the events when I'm working. So I just keep all that in a tub because it doesn't need to be hanging up. While I have these out, I have around like 12 pairs of period underwear. And then I have probably like 20 pairs of underwear. So that's also what lives in here with my bras, my athletic shorts, and my period underwear, and my regular underwear all live in this like container. Does one girl need this many socks? Probably not, but I'll explain it to you. So some of these, I have three pairs of tights in here for the colder months. And then this whole center row are socks that my mom has knit me. And you can't get rid of hand knitted socks that your mother made you. These are the best socks ever. That's what I live in in the winter, so I don't feel bad having a whole row. And then this is just like normal ankle socks. So I have two belts. I have a black belt and a brown belt. Bottoms wise, I have that skirt I showed you. you guys have seen in my capsule wardrobe. If you haven't seen the most recent capsule wardrobe video, I will link that and then you can check it out down below as well. I have those bottoms I showed you, but then I have three pairs of jeans. This lighter pair that I'm wearing right now, a darker pair, and then a striped high-waisted pair. And then I have two pairs of denim shorts. I'm gonna show you my shoes really quick before I go into my hanging clothes. I have these pair of like brown ankle boots. These are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are these black ankle boots. They're Steve Madden. I got them for the wedding. This is what I wore on my wedding day and with that dress and I loved it and I wear these all the time and I'm so glad I got a pair of shoes that I can wear again and that was one of my goals. These are old pair of riding boots. I think they're either my mom's or my sister's. So I have two pairs of sneakers. I have my Vans and then I have my Mizuno running shoes. Three pairs of sandals. I have these Keens that are like two years old. I have this pair of brown strappy sandals. They're faded glory brand but I got them from the thrift store. And I got these like black knockoff high platform Burks from Target a number of years ago. Michael got these slippers for me last winter for Christmas and they are key. These are awesome. Okay, now for the rest of my like hanging stuff. I think you guys have seen most of this if you've been watching any of my capsule wardrobe videos, but I'll just go through it quickly. Cream cami. I have this green one, this blue one that has this like open back, this black one, blue stripe one that I got a long time ago. A purple one, I think it's from, it's Mosmo, so it's from Target, but thrift store. Then I have this gray cami. That, it's not really my style, but I I like it and I wear it and it just kind of has a pattern. These are actually in my caps wardrobe right now. This Smash 50309 t-shirt, this blue feminist t-shirt that I made myself, this just plain gray t-shirt, and then this ray gun t-shirt that says, just keep hollering and eventually I'll sleep with you because I hate cat calling don't do it long sleeve shirts i have the one i'm wearing right now and then i have this striped one very classic very plain i have this button up kind of like burnt orange one and then i have this gray one moving right along sweaters tan one that i need to get fixed because it has holes in the armpit this is just like your stereotypical winter sweater, but it's cozy and I like it. This is an old sorority crew neck. It's super comfortable for just like lounging or like working out or camping. This is like a shawl thing that my mom made me. I don't know how to explain it, but it's cool. Got this yellow one that I got a long time ago. It's a cardigan. This very like frumpy grandma sweater as people like to call it, but it's super comfortable and warm and you can just wrap yourself up in like a blanket. It's called my London sweater. I don't know why. It's just an oversized gray sweater. This dark gray cami cardigan. This just like ready orange sweater. And then this is a new addition. It's just like a very long white one and it just like adds a bit of class to your outfits. Eight dresses. This is a more like formal, we'll say dress, but it's much more spring summery. This is much more like a grunge kind of high neck black dress. This one's a more formal dress, has this like yellow block at the bottom. This is a long sleeve like burgundy dress that I wear to like weddings or during the winter. This is a black just plain t-shirt dress. This is a just like green 
potato sack dress. I don't know. Michael calls it my potato sack dress, but I like it. This is a yellow one that I got this year, and then I got this one recently for this coming season. It's just a blue striped dress. My overalls, which you guys have seen, I think I might... I don't know, I like them. I like them, but people make fun of me for them, but I like them. Jackets, kind of like puffer vests, which is awesome for when it gets colder out. I'll definitely have that for winter, and I might even pull it out for this fall. And then I have like three jackets. These are all my caps wardrobe right now. This like green army looking jacket thing, gray blazer, and then this like ruddy maroony blazer. Oh, okay, so that is everything I own. I might zoom you guys in a little bit. It might seem like a lot, but when it's in there, it's not. I'm sweating because that was hard to get through. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know what you wanna see next time. What other area of my life or apartment you wanna see. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.